Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a new graphics card. Now, first things first, um, you're going to make sure your, your computer is compatible. To do this, um, simply either look at your uh, motherboard manuals, because there should be some manuals that came with it, just to see what kind of um, uh, what it kind of supports on the motherboard. But also, if you uh, if you want to ring um, whoever makes your computer, uh, this one it happens to be custom built, so. Um, I just knew, uh, I talked to some experts first and made sure that the graphics card that I got would work. So as long as you've made sure of that, you're happy, then this is basically how to install it. First things first, you make sure you uh, unplug everything out of the back of your computer. That is very important. There is nothing plugged in here, no power, no USB, uh, USB plugs. Nothing is in here at all. That is very important. Second of all, make sure you're on a hard uh, surface, a nice worktop surface. Also, um, try and try and we're trying to reduce static here. So try and if you're on carpet, try and wear some sort of uh, shoes if possible. Or if you can uh, um, work on a hard hard surface floor, that would be uh, even better. We just don't want to generate any static and then put it into the computer. So after you've done that, you can just um, turn your computer on its side. And as you can see here, uh, the screws are pretty easy to uh, undo. All you've got to do is. Um, and do them. This isn't the side I want. I actually want it on the side, so I'll just flip it over. Right. Uh, this is really easy. Just uh, undo the screws. Be careful if you have, like I have on here, I have a, a fan on the side of the computer. Just be careful when you lift it up, as that will be connected to some wires. So when you place it, just try and rest it so that. Stop. Before you go any further, please make sure you eliminate yourself from static. This can be done by touching the metal case of your computer with both hands, or any other uh, metal object, or stuff like power plugs, uh, the power bricks where you plug loads of little plugs in, the power adapters, hold one of them for a few seconds, or you can buy special computer bands which eliminate your hands from static. Please do this as you really don't want to ruin your computer by putting static into it when you touch in. Thanks. Okay, so I've changed the angle of the computer a little bit, just for me. Uh, you'd normally have it on, obviously, flat on the table. The reason I've changed it is because I had a few problems with camera angles, but uh, I've, I've kind of sorted it now by changing the computer angle. Okay, so the graphics card I'm going to be installing is a Zotac uh, GeForce GT430, which is uh, right here, as you can see. And um, this is obviously made by NVIDIA, but then uh, modified by Zotac themselves. And a few other companies that make this graphics card, including um, companies such as uh, PNY and ASUS. So we're going to be lo we're looking for the port to put the the card in. On this motherboard, it is this blue port right here, which is the correct port. If you look up your motherboard, you should be able to find out uh, what port it is. But um, on average, it is the blue uh, the blue port right there, which is the one we've got. And so, what we then have to do is, is, um, is when we turn the computer around, let me just zoom back out, is remove the slots on the back. As you can see here, I have removed these two of them. I did this by accident, I accidentally removed the, the wrong one uh, to the one I actually needed. So, what, what I would advise you to do is, I'd advise you to um, just check first, just kind of place the graphics card in the right-ish place and see which ones you need to remove. They literally uh, just pop out, so you just literally just push it in and they'll come straight back out. That's really, really easy to do. Okay, so now I've done this, um, what I then need to do is uh, obviously install it in. So, basically, let me just come around. The easiest way of doing it is to simply bring the graphics card up to, let's zoom in a bit more, okay, bring it up to here, then as you line up the chips, you can see where the gaps are in the port, you can see where the gaps are in the little strip here, this is what this is what's going into this little strip, so make sure you insert it in the right way, this little uh, clip here is what goes to the very very end, as you'll see, of, of the thing, it does kind of match up, so just have a look, go, you know, if it doesn't look right, Obviously, these ports will need to be on the outside. It's a bit of common sense. The way mine fits is, is the ports are going to be upside down, but unfortunately, that's just the way it has to be. So I've lined them all up, and then simply all I've got to do is just uh, move them into the right position. And then when I'm happy with, with where they are, simply literally push them into place. 
and there you go. That is that is slotted into place. That is as simple as installing the graphics card itself. Now, that's in place. What you may notice, if I put this into the right place, sorry my phone's going off there, but there we go. If uh, on, on here, um, there's a little gap, and there's no screws actually come with this graphics card, but if we, um, the screws basically hold it in position in, in, you know, in a good sense, but what I'm going to do is, because I don't have any screws, on my hard drive, this is the hard drive right here, I have four screws, uh, one on the back in the frame to hold it in place. Four isn't really necessary, so what I'm going to do is with a screwdriver, is simply remove one of these screws just to hold the graphics card in place. So really easy, just pull out the, the screw. And then what we can then do is, is um, as I'll show you here, we can then pop it in, in the slot here. There we go, we're done. So that's now screwed in place, that's locked in, and then we're done. We're just going to turn it around and show you. Now the graphics card in place, all you've simply got to do is uh, put the cover back on. Really easy to do. Line it up back in place, obviously make sure that all the cables get in. Line it up in place. Easy for you because you're doing it lying down, but it's simple to do. Let's line it back up and push it into place. There we go. And then Pop these screws back in, back in the top, and one in the bottom. <laughs> oh, God, screws don't like me. There we go. We're in, and that's literally all there is to it. Obviously, hook everything back up um, as you had them before. Uh, plug everything back in and you should be fine. Then just plug your monitor or whatever you're going to use into this new graphics card. Here it is right here. As you can see, I pulled out the wrong port, but there we go. Um, you plug it in exactly right back here and you should be absolutely fine. But if you do have any questions though, um, for instance, if you had... If you basically, if you already had an integrated, if you already had a dedicated graphics card in there, uh, pulling it out is simple. Make sure you unscrew all the old screws, like we screwed in the new one, and uh, make sure there's no clips holding it in place, and it should just easily come out. And then you can obviously put your new one in the same port. Um, if you have an integrated graphics card, you do not have to worry about disabling. Some people do say disable it, but uh, personally. I think it's fine the way it is, and I asked some experts as well, and they said exactly the same to me. So you just leave it fine the way it is, and it should be there should be no problem with that. Just start using your new graphics card, and uh, the old one will you know power up and everything, but you're not using it. So hopefully that's been some help. If you do have any questions, as I said, pop a comment below, and then I will try my best to answer you. Um, but for now, guys, I will see you very soon.